Welcome back to day 13 of the 31 Days of Horror series. And today we're talking about the black phone. Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? If you haven't seen this movie yet, prepare to be creeped the hell out. Because Ethan Hawke's performance as the grabber, dude is just terrifying. Hawke takes Kidnapper and dials it up to an absolute nightmare. Seriously, he rocks his creepy mask throughout the movie and even without the mask. He's got this aura that just screams, stay the fuck away from me. So what makes the black phone different from your usual horror flick? For starters, it's not your typical bloodbath or jump scare fest, although it does have some. It's more about atmosphere, tension, and psychological horror. The film is based on a short story by Joe Hill, who is the son of legendary Stephen King. So you know horrors in the bloodline. And it does a damn good job of focusing on the dread and the mental torment of the situation. It's not about the slasher running after you. It's about being trapped, isolated, and trying to survive in this claustrophobic nightmare. The plot files Finny, a kid who gets snatched up by the grabber and thrown into this grimy basement. There's this black rotary phone on the wall that shouldn't work, but it does. Well, sort of. The phone starts ringing and Finny's getting calls from the grabber's past victims. Yeah, you heard me right. He's getting ghost advice from kids who didn't make it. And that's where this movie really hits different. It's got the supernatural element that doesn't rely on cheap scares, but instead builds on this eerie, oppressive atmosphere that leaves you squirming in your seat. Let's talk more about Ethan Hawke though, because the dude is on another level in this role. Hawke typically plays more heroic or morally gray characters, but in the black phone, he's just pure evil. He gives off this disturbing blend of charm and menace. And the way he switches between these personas is what makes him so damn creepy. One minute he's soft spoken, almost friendly, and the next minute you're convinced he's gonna snap and do something horrific. You smug motherfucker. The film also does a great job of showing the trauma and fear from the kid's perspective. And the supernatural calls from the black phone give Finny the sense of hope and agency in a seemingly hopeless situation. It's not just about escaping the grabber. It's about confronting fear, using your wits, and fighting back when you're powerless. The Black Phone isn't your typical horror, and that's what makes it so damn good. It's a mix of psychological horror, a dash of the supernatural, and some solid performances, especially from Ethan Hawke. It's a slow burn, but when it ramps up, it'll have you on the edge of your seat. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.